Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. And today I'm going to show you how to draw some more powers. I've done videos like this in the past, but I had a response, a request I should say, to do more like an electricity type power. So I've already drawn a couple hand poses, because obviously without, uh, without hands you can't really have powers. Well, I guess you can. I guess they could shoot from the eyes or the, the mouth or something like that. But we're going to use hands today. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'll do is start drawing an initial sketch around this. Now, the type of power is more of an electricity, so I'll just kind of explain the process, and I'll time-lapse some of this so it doesn't get too lengthy, um, and I can show you more of a finished result, because it does take a little bit of, you know, you can do a basic power like this relatively fast, but if you want it to look real cool, or at least in my opinion of what looks cool, then you got to do some shading and stuff, and that takes just a minute to do, so. At any rate, what I've first do with anything that I draw is I rough it out. So I kind of just throw these basic loose lines in there trying to get a feel for the flow and the you know the shape and dynamic of what I'm trying to put down. So something rough like that gives me my uh, starting point. Uh, then I generally would soft erase it down or lighten the layer uh, and just kind of keep building on top. What that allows me to do is keep working out the form start building in things like line weight and you know get a get a better grasp of what you know what looks cool and what doesn't uh, in this stage I also try to eliminate things if something doesn't look right or isn't going with the design properly this is where I would get rid of it so it's better to do that in this portion of the drawing than to get too far into it and waste a bunch of time so and what I try to think about when I'm doing an electricity type power is I try to think like, you know, energy that can be sporadic and just kind of moving in all these uh, different directions. Um, you know, it can kind of flow and then just change angles and direction really fast. Um, and then also that it gets smaller and more pointed uh, as the energy dissipates. So. And again, that's just my opinion, you know, come up with your own design and what you think looks cool and, and right. But that's what I think of when I when I think of electricity. Um, and that's all this is, just style choices and, you know, uh, what you're seeing in your, your imagination. So I keep roughing that out. I probably take a few of these and make them go behind the other... Uh, parts of the design to give it a little bit more depth. And see how I'm just kind of varying the thickness of the line just a little bit, just to add a little bit more uh, interest to the, the concept at this point. Uh, another thing that I do is I always kind of pan back um, to see, you know, what I'm working on and if it, uh, if it looks good from a distance. Um, if not, or if, you know, whatever, I can make changes and kind of distort it and, you know, maybe make shape changes at that point also. So again, I'm going to soft erase it down. So I'm still, it's, it's getting there, but it's not quite there. Something just not as, I don't know, electrifying as I want to see it become. So, uh... And, I, you know, it's, it's good to try to see that, again, in the very beginning stages of it. Because once you get into the shading, it's kind of a little bit harder to make these adjustments. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit more of the kind of angular points that I'm seeing in this. So I'll just kind of try to add a little bit more of that and see if that helps it. Again, I want this to look like it's an electrifying type power. And I think the other thing that might help it is to vein it out more, um, kind of like tree branches work. I'll try that. So another thing I also do too, uh, when I'm when I'm working on something, I'll a lot of times reference it to another shape in my mind, like I just told you about tree branches. Um, obviously, I'm not trying to draw a tree here, but at the same time, a lot of times you can see shapes or remember shapes by relating them to, to other shapes almost like you know an, an, uh, a mnemonic device I guess would be the the way I'm trying to explain that or similar to a mnemonic device mm, 
Yeah, I think that's getting a little bit closer. You know, another thing that I do is I pinpoint things that I think look correct. I kind of like that area right there. Um, like here, you know, just, just I'll, I'll see little shapes that look like they're working in the design, and I'll try to emulate that throughout the rest of the design without copying it. Because you don't want it to look too uh, repetitive, especially something like this where it's energy is anything but repetitive. I'm almost to the point where I'll shade it. So that, that explains at least a little bit of what I think as I'm trying to get this down. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is time lapse portion of this where I uh, keep, you know, fine tuning it, if you will, and uh, add some shading to it and show you what I come up with here. So go ahead and stay tuned while I try to make this more electrifying. Okay, so there's some of the uh, finished line work on that power effect. And I'll explain it a little bit. Uh, you can see I kind of got a little messy with it, but sometimes that can be fun. And I, I kind of think that's a good idea because you're trying to feel out the process and come up with new ideas. So sometimes to be inventive like that, uh, getting messy kind of works with art. So I was just kind of scribbling stuff in there. The other thing, and you can't really see it, I did it off screen. I created some of this as layers. Um, one of the things I do if I start to second guess a direction I might be heading with the artwork or want to give myself an easy out to go back, I'll just add a layer. Uh, this, this particular video isn't going to be software specific, that's why I'm not showing the interface, but you know, you can, you can do layers and pretty much everything now. So, so there's the one electricity power effect, you know, that I would, I would do, you know, I, you see, I started adding like these little dots and, you know, sparkles or, I shouldn't say sparkles, it sounds weird, but, um, you know, like electricity, you know, glints or whatever you want to call them, uh, sparks, I guess, not sparkles, <laughs> anyways, um, so this next one now, I'm going to try to do a little bit differently, it's still going to be an electricity type power, but I just want to give you some options here as far as, you know, seeing different ways to draw this stuff. This one, I guess what the first one I was picturing that the energy was just radiating around the hand, you know, especially with the clenched fist kind of like showing off, you know, look at my superpowers, you know, fear me kind of thing. Uh, now this one I'm going to do more of uh, an attack, you know, with the power or whatever. So first I would do what I always call an area of influence. Uh, and the direction of the power like that and I always do kind of this and I probably got this from 90s comics but I always do this inner like focal beam you know if you look at a flame you got like the hotter spot and then the you know it fades out so I always remember seeing that with like blasts of energy and, and comics and things so uh, I kind of start that way uh, now, again, I want this to look more like electricity, not like some kind of plasma laser beam or whatever that looks like right now. So I'm going to start doing those bolts again, but this time I'm going to have them coincide with that direction that it's taking, and but kind of flowing around it a little bit. So, you know, because obviously if the energy just dissipated everywhere, then how would the character actually uh, use it as a weapon? It would have to be directional so I'm gonna to try to mix those two things up and that's again where I would show that in the sketch phase and kind of work out that um, those details 
and I want it to look like it's kind of whimsical and flying around but again uh, going along with the direction of that that focal you know so contradictory really to what I'm saying but um, but hopefully you get the idea so just kind of keep scribbling these lines in until something sticks I'm starting to see a couple shapes in there that I like uh, so now again what I would do is soft erase uh, again you can do this in pretty much any software I just take a soft erase and just slightly go over it really love this effect because to me it keeps adding data to the drawing and uh, keeps it from getting too messy or whatever just like that grab the pencil again and just so you know if anybody does ask I'm using sketchbook pro in this one uh, if you see the lines and you like the way they're coming out um, it does a very great job for uh, sketching like I'm doing here and even inking but I typically ink in manga studio but that's for another video so and I do have videos on each software uh, so be sure to subscribe please so yeah at this stage I just kind of keep refining the art trying to get those shapes in there that I like do away with ones I don't or and, and this part is pretty organic I don't think too much at this stage just especially since I've already drawn a practice one to the side it starts to get a little bit more free-flowing uh, as you do it like if you ever hear really big-time professional artists speak about their workflow and their process they'll tell you that they stay up late nights for one drawing like mad one of the reasons being is you kinda get this flow this ebb and flow going on so you really don't want to stop once that occurs it's kind of exciting you know I imagine it happens with all creative types musicians artists whatever you know but you get to a point where it just starts kind of relaxed and coming out uh, and you don't want to stop that so and then sometimes you just gotta stay up real late and meet a deadline which is always fun alright so there I kinda covered up that initial shape but I still have the feeling that you know that I was looking for so now what I would do is just start adding more line weight again line weight's very important to any of your drawings I don't know if you noticed uh, in this side when I started adding all this power I noticed the hand started getting lost so what did I what did I do to bring that back out I added more line weight so line weight's very important to make these drawings pop it's something I'm noticing more and more as I progress into this uh, realm of fantasy drawing and that line weight is very important so I'll kind of finesse the line art here and keep adding that and I'm not gonna go with the dark background shading that I did to the one on the right I did that mainly to show you how I think the electricity would really pop on a dark background and then when you came back to color that it would really stand out uh, this one I'm gonna do more with the the line weight and some outlining of the electricity effect so it would it would actually be more on the colorist to bring this out by the time it's done I think the effect to the right looks better if you're doing like I do an uh, independent comic book and shameless plug time my independent comic book is Blackstone Eternal and you can find that on Indie Planet and soon to be available for digital download I'm working on that too so uh, stay with me you know for all that information as well so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this portion of it refine this artwork like I did on the other one that way this video isn't too awfully long because it's already getting there uh, so yeah stay tuned let's see what we come up with
Okay, so there it is. That uh, completes this session or tutorial or whatever you like to call it. So hopefully that showed you something. And uh, I'm not the best colorist, uh, but I figured I'd throw some color in there just to give you a little bit more of a look of maybe what I was, you know, kind of interpreting as I was drawing it. Um, but again, a really good colorist could take this and just go to town with it. Uh, not really my strongest suit. I just like penciling and a little bit of inking. So, um, yeah, so hopefully this video has helped you out. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe, share with your friends as always. That would be great to help me out and uh, get the name out there. And also, um, if you want a finished copy of this artwork, just to kind of mull it over and, and do your own thing with it, uh, you can find that on my DeviantArt, which is ramstudios1.deviantart.com, uh, or just type in Robert Marzullo, I'm sure it'd come up, or actually even better, there's a link on my about section of my channel here. So yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe, new videos each week. I thank you for participating and, and watching this video. Take care of yourself, keep drawing, keep having fun. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.